What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, that's cool. Let's get into this commentary. Hey homies, so today I want to talk to you about a horrible TikTok trend called Where's Corbin? You know, I want to know why these kids these days are so insensitive. They don't have no sympathy or no empathy for anything. Um, I don't understand, like, why this is trending. It's horrible, okay? Corbin Johnson, let's give you, let me give you a backstory of Corbin Johnson, okay? And his mom has spoke with the news and everything. So, Corbin Johnson is a missing boy who faced a tragedy after getting kidnapped, okay? 18-year-old teenager went missing in 2018. The last person to see him was Jerika Sims as she FaceTimed him around 4 p.m. Now, after one year of his missing, his skeletal remains was discovered, okay? Um, the Thursday news of 2019 has broken all the family members and his friends. While the police department investigated the case, people have paid him tributes. Okay, the tragic death of a young boy has remained unforgettable for the public. Now, he disappeared from Jacksonville, Florida on the 11th of July of 2018. It got known that he was seeking a job and attended several job interviews that day. His parents filed a missing report when he didn't return home. Corbin was missing on was reported missing on the 13th of July. He remained contactless for days. As per his parents, they thought of him vanishing voluntarily. Now, however, when the teenager was unreachable, unreachable, they started getting worried and filed a missing report. The police officers couldn't find any clue nor any lead regarding the case. Now, however, after exactly a year on July 11th of 2019, the body remains were discovered. <sighs> he got wrapped in a bag on the northwest from Jacksonville, Florida. Corbin was kidnapped and murdered. Now, this is going this is going viral on TikTok. This song is going viral. And that part where it says, Where's Corbin? See, these kids don't know exactly where things come from and they just hop on any trend because they think it's cool until you know the backstory of it. Okay. These new rappers, these kids these days, they are rapping about cases. All right. They are rapping about who they kill, who they did whatever to. They are rapping about a lot of different things. But what they don't know is they think it's cool to rap to rap about these things. And it's not. But to put the icing on the cake, what they don't know is the police is right there in the videos watching. And what I mean in their videos, they are watching their YouTube channels, they are watching their Instagram, and they are watching their Twitter, they are watching their Facebook. You have units that are just for those type of things at the police departments. Okay? They can go on live on Instagram. They may think, oh, this person is a teenager, but you don't know. That's a cop. Okay? Cops can decide, disguise themselves to be Anybody who they want to be, if they want to catch something. So all they need is to get into your page. You don't, make, you don't care if it's private or not. They, you let somebody in your page because you think they're a fan. Guess what? It could be a police officer. All right? When you put those videos out about who I smoke and all that kind of stuff, you let, you're opening a door for the police to know exactly what you're doing or what you're involved in. And I think it's horrible. I think it's horrible to rap about people who you murdered or who you know murdered somebody. It's just horrible. Now, this whole song went viral on TikTok. And the rapper who made this song, it was called, um, his name is Fulio. All right. And he is also from Jacksonville, Florida. Just like the song Young and, um, Who I Smoke by Young and Ace. And some other guys, Jacksonville, Florida. And they had beef. You know, Corbin Johnson, I think he was cool with Young and Ace on that side. If I'm not correct, you know, let me know in the comment section. But it ended up with Fulio in the lyrics 
you know, saying, um, Corbin got kidnapped. They found his bones. He was rot. That's horrible. You're not thinking about this boy's parents. Okay? His parents reported him missing. And exact a year later, they found his body wrapped up in the woods on the northwest side of Jacksonville. That's crazy. Horrible. But this is what's ten this is what's trending on TikTok. This is what's trending. So if I was Corbin Johnson's mom, I would fight hard to get all those videos off, flagged, and take them down. Because it's not right. It's not right. Um, it's just horrible. You know, it's, it's really horrible. Corbin remains got discovered in a wooded area where a man was clearing up the land. His remains got wrapped up in a bag with only his skeletal. Police officers investigated the case as a homicide and searched for the suspects. The family has not disclosed the autopsy results yet. However, it got predicted that he became a shooting victim. While the officers are still searching for the suspect, his family members are waiting for justice. Now, a man has admitted to shooting a high school senior and somewhat people have thought the case might be related. Mm -mm. So, just so sad. You know, how can you, how can a, a, someone's murder, how can someone's murder go viral on TikTok? What has this world become? You know, that's opening wounds for the family so what does his mom think about all of this okay she said it's ignorant and i do agree with her it is ignorant it is ignorant it is ignorant for this to be going on it's ignorant and when she spoke with um the jacksonville florida news she said i think it's just ignorant i really do think it's ignorant and she, his mother's name is Melissa Johnson. And, you know, that's her child. That's her child. So, I really do think that they needed to flag those videos. Because it's horrible. How can someone's murder go viral on TikTok? That just goes to show you the people behind TikTok that runs TikTok. They don't care. They let any type of video go up on that site. They don't care. And these kids have to be more mindful and think and find out where the stuff they come from. Why is it trending? Do the backstory on it before you do it. Because you're hurting Corbin's mom and his family again. They already have to deal with everything else. And now to deal with this viral TikTok sensation of, of his death, that's horrible. That is horrible. So I hope, you know, my heart goes out to Melissa Johnson. I mean, excuse me, Jackson and his family. My heart goes out to them. Because it doesn't matter what... I'm sorry, that's my outside. It doesn't matter what happened or what he was into. He didn't deserve to die like that. He did not deserve to die like that. And the person that did that didn't have a right to take his life. It was probably over some petty stuff. Petty stuff. Maybe he was running with a crew that the other crew didn't like. But still, it doesn't matter. You don't take nobody's life over things like that. You don't have that power to do that. Because the same way the person took his life, somebody could do something to their to they family. And then they'll be hurt. You know, I just don't understand the senseless murder, murdering. I just don't, I don't understand it. All this senseless killing has got to stop. But as for this TikTok viral, where's Corbin stuff, it has to stop. As some, it has to stop. And I really do hope it you know, that Melissa Jackson fight for it to be taken down. Why would TikTok allow such 
a thing like that to go viral on their platform. All right, you guys, that's all I have um, on that. I just thought it was really horrible. I, it's horrible. The song is horrible, you know, on both ends. You know, one, that song with Young and Ace, Who I Smoke, that's, that's horrible. Fulio's song, that's horrible. But what these kids don't know is that the police are watching. And all you're doing is putting yourself, you're digging a hole for yourself. You're digging a hole for yourself. But these kids don't care these days. They don't care. Man. All right, you guys. That's all I have for right now. And I will talk to you guys later.